Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Everything's Archie. Archie's here. And he's here. Veronica, too. And she's here. Hey, Jughead, where are you? Welcome back to the channel there, Papa's Posse. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Today we have Veronica, Archie Comics, number one, number 44, $1.50, back in 1995, by Dan DiCarlo and Henry Scardelli. Now, one of the stories in here is Bowl Me Over. Must be about Veronica, I'm sure. Now, before we begin, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papa's-Comic-Books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to hear. If it's in my library, I'll try to get it on. Thank you. Here we go, Archie. I have the perfect solution to help you decide who to date. It's going to be all Veronica. Starring Veronica. Next week on the E-Files, more stories of close encounters with extraterrestrials. I don't believe all that stuff. This is by Hal Smith and Tim Kennedy. Imagine people from other planets landing here. What a farce. Uh-oh. You. Well, what was that? What's what's that eerie light? It, it's a sighing flosser and a flying. Oh, wow, it's true. They have landed. I guess they landed here because we're the most important family in town. Nobody's home, so I guess I'll have to be the goodwill ambassador. I just hope they're not going to look icky. Greetings, star travelers. I'm Veronica. Welcome to Earth. Hello, I'm Glurg, and this is my new, my girlfriend, Zork. Are you here to see my father? No, we just wanted to see the planets that orbit Zork. Zork, yes, on our planet, we have an international star registry. For a fee, you can name a star after someone, and I named your star after Zork. You're kidding. We have that here, too. I had a star named after me. Where is it? I'll get the star chart. There it is. That's Glex. Yes, that's the star our planet orbits. Glex. Well, from now on, it's Veronica. I'm not going to call Glex Veronica. You have to. I have a document. And I have one calling your star Zork. That's not Zork. It's our sun. It's not. It too is not. Wait, wait. There's no need to argue. If you call your son Zork, we'll call our Glex Veronica. Well, just think, Veronica, glasses, Veronica, dresses, Veronica, flowers, Veronica, but you'll have to substitute Zork for words with sun in them. Okay, it's a deal. Come on, Zork, if we leave now, we can get home before Veronica down. Tee hee. If I have to call sunglasses Zork glasses, everybody will laugh at me. I'll bet they don't even call their Glex glasses Veronica glasses either. So why should I change the name of the sun to Zork next week? Tonight on the E-Files, a brand new encounter. Aliens said they encountered another Earth being last week, but were unable to contact the Veronica star system to tell them. <gasps> Due to interference from Veronica spots. <gasps> oh, no. What is this? This is the Flintstones. Yabba dabba doo. How about that? What do we have here? Presenting her case. Hold it, guys. I was trying to talk to you. Come on, Veronica, give us back our ball. We're playing a game. Why are you interrupting our game? I wanted to remind you that you are all invited to a my birthday party. We know, we know. Your party is a whole month away. Perfect. Just letting you know there are only 30 shopping days left. Hold up, Veronica. Once upon a three-timer. Take that. I know baseball season is starting smithers, but isn't that a strange way to practice? Miss Lodge is having a tantrum, Mr. Master Reggie. What did she find out, that her earrings didn't match? No, sir. Master Archie called her and canceled his date with Miss Lodge without giving a reason. I've never seen Ronnie so mad. At least last week, this may be her big chance. At least since last week, this may be her big chance to become her main man. I just love to know what Archie had to do that was so important that he had to break our date. What's the difference, Veronica? When good luck comes your way, just accept it. Now you can go out with me. 
It's not the date, Reggie. It's the principle. No boy cancels on me. It's a matter of life and death, and in Archie's case, it had better be death. Wait here, beautiful. I'm going to spy on Archie. I'll find out for you exactly what he's up to. If only I could catch that red-headed re reject doing something sneaky. You'd think he'd have learned something from hanging with me all these years. Hey there. He is on his bike. I'll try to follow him without him seeing me. That should be easy. Archie's brain is encased in a layer of fog. What's this? He stopped his bike and in going into that house? Whoa, what a great looking girl, Archie, giving her flowers. Archie dumped Veronica for another girl? He's even sneakier than I am. Poor Ronnie will be heartbroken. I can't wait to tell her. Soon I'm going to give Archie the chance to give me a reasonable explanation. Then I'll annihilate him. We've got about 10 blocks to go, Ron. Stop the car, screech. It's Archie. He's given his new girlfriend more flowers and a box of candies. But that's not the girl I saw Archie with before. Looks like you're being three-timed, Ron. Or let me at him. Yes. This is even better than I hoped. Veronica will probably annihilate Archie twice, once for each girlfriend. <laughs> this is too good to miss. I'm going to check out the fun and... Can you ever forgive me, Archikins? What? It's all my fault, Lambikins. I should have told you that I got a job as a delivery boy. I wanted to make extra enough money to take you out in style. How sweet. But, but I was hoping to surprise you. And you would have if Reggie hadn't spoiled everything. But... Soon, Reggie. <gasps> Come on, Ma. Can't a guy wreck his own room? He's mad now. Oh, the Veronica pinup. Yabba dabba doo. Editor's notebook. Archie gear for the summer. Bowl me over. Hey, Archikins. I'm here only 15 minutes late. What's she doing here? Moose can't make it. Veronica's going to sub for him tonight. What? Has she ever even bowled before? How hard could it be if you, if you can do it? She was the only last-minute substitute I found. It's only for tonight. There goes our team average. Why don't you take some practice shots, Veronica? Sure thing. Hold my coat. Wow. You're going to bowl in that? Sorry, my good dress is at the cleaners. Here, you can use my ball, Veronica. Thank you very... Eeh. That ball is so heavy. Gulp. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. So is my head from a headache I'm getting. So heavy. Just try and hit the pins, Veronica. Here goes. Look out, my nachos. You've ruined my nachos. Not to mention the floor. I'll try it again if you please. Whew. Hey, you knocked down eight pins. Isn't that good? It would be if the ball hadn't bumped over into the wrong lane. Let's start the game. It's going to be a long night. Ball. Veronica, what's wrong? Jughead said I had a handicap. That mean. That's mean. No, your handicap is bowling is an adjustment made between yours and the Chuck score. It helps out your crummy or uh, amateur score. Oh, that's better. Excuse me, miss. You can't bowl in high heels. It scratches up the regulation floors. You'll have to wear these. Never. I'll bowl barefoot before I bowl in those unfashionable clod hoppers. Veronica, you need shoes. It's slippery. Nonsense. Oh, whoa, bang. Someone stop this crazy lane. She still couldn't get a pin down using her own body. It's hopeless. I guess I'm just not cut out for this sport. I got an idea. Give me that marker. Come on, Chuck. Where are they going? I need you to do a little artwork on the pins that we can clean off later. Joe gets facing all the pins. I think I'm getting it. You're going to use motivation tactics. Now focus. Is there anyone you'd like to mow over more? Now go, girl. Knock Jughead down. A strike. She got a strike. Her fourth strike in a row. Talk about motivation. I think I'm insulted. Veronica, come on. It's midnight. We've got to go home. Just knock all the Jugheads down. Must knock all the Jugheads down. <sighs> Getting into the act. Hildy, are you trying out for the play? I would, but the auditorium's not equipped with a ramp. It's tough for me to get around. That's a good point. I'll get on it right away. Now that there's a ramp, I'll be ready for my stage debut. Right, Romeo? You got it, Juliet. This is a public service message brought to you by Archie Comics and United Cerebral 
Palsy Association. <gasps> Fan art. Okay, here we go. The hummingbird. Hmm. Calm, calm. As the placid waters of Woodland Pond on a balmy spring morning. Oh, um, I'm afraid I didn't get this, Miss Veronica. Oh, um, just chanting my mantra, Smithers. It soothes my mental state. Oh, oh, I didn't know any of them had a mental state. Oh, oh, Mr. Andy, try it again. Oh, get out of here, you rotten kids. Go on, beat it. Ron, how come you didn't yell at those little brats? Oh, oh, since I started chanting my mantra, nothing upsets me. She's got a mantra? Keeps humming the om om thing. Says it keeps her calm. Hmm. Sounds like we have a hive and bees in the hall. Hum, hum. Nothing out here but Veronica and home. Veronica, is that you making that humming noise? My mantra, Mr. Weatherby, I'm chanting. It keeps me calm. Perhaps you should try it. Try to do it more quietly. What calms you might upset others only because they haven't tried it. If everybody had a mantra to chant, the world would be a more peaceful place. It was a peaceful place before I heard that blast of humming. Girl, you disrupted the entire class with that mantra of yours. We should all do it, Miss Unison. Miss Grundy, it's like floating on a sea of tranquility. Sheesh, nobody's interested in peace and quiet, keeping calm, being in control. Um, um, come on, loosen up, sweetie. Live a little love of the doll. You're not afraid of a little glads, are you? No, 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 not fast glad. Guess. It's that floozy swivel hip Snyder with my Archie. One little kiss is not going to kill you, is it? But, but Ronnie should find out. Ronnie already knows, you diddling Don Juan. Don, you spooked him, Ron, just when I had him warmed up. Yipe, I'm out of here. What is this? I think it used to be Gladys Snyder. What's that I hear, Geraldine? It's not the humming sound that, that bothered me anymore. Well, it's still Veronica but she seems to have adopted a new mantra. Instead of hum hum. All righty. Well, that was Veronica, number 44, $1.50 back in 1995. I hope you enjoyed that quick little reading. Now, don't forget, this book and others are available on my eBay page, Papa's Dash Comic Dash Books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and leave me a comment, okay? And as Papa and Veronica always say... That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.